Morning and welcome to micro teaching today, which is focused on why Vesalius was so significant. Let's start at the, at the beginning. Vesalius was born in Belgium with a rare condition of dwarf, dwarfism. He didn't let that stop him and studied medicine in both Paris and Italy. It was in Paris that he got the opportunity to meet great artists. And those artists were dissecting human bodies in order to be able to draw them better. Now this gets Vesalius fascinated by anatomy, by the way the human body fits together. And he wants to learn more about this too. Now, ideally, he would be dissecting human bodies, but this has been banned by the Christian church because they were teaching that Galen had already discovered everything that needed to be discovered about the human body, making further experimentation un unnecessary. But that didn't stop Vesalius either. What he did was went out in the middle of the night, found a criminal hanging on a gallows, jumped up, pulled the criminal down, and took that criminal back to his house, where he dissected him and boiled up the body in order to write down and draw, first of all, the muscles, uh, the nerves, the heart, everything else, and secondly, the bones. He loved this and was fascinated by what he found. Now, because he was so fascinated by the human body, he deliberately moved to an Italian university, which was one of the few that did allow dissection for its students. Here, he continues his experiments. He continues dissecting bodies and drawing them. And he's helped because in Padua, there are many great artists who can draw what Vesalius has discovered. The result of all of this work is the groundbreaking atlas of the human body called the fabric of the human body. Now, this book is a com comprehensive survey of the human body and how it fits together. And Vesalius is able to distribute it over a wide range because of new printing methods, which means that for the first time, books can be mass produced, whereas a hundred years before, they would have had to have been copied out by hand, which meant few copies could have been produced. Now, the fact that Vesalius' book was beautiful, well put together, and very readable was not the most important thing about it. The most important thing about it was that Vesalius concluded that Galen had been wrong. And in fact, Galen had made over 200 mistakes. But the most famous of these are that Galen said the jawbone of a human being came in two parts like an animal, because that's what Galen had dissected. But Vesalius found it was only one bone. In addition, Galen said that blood passed through the middle of the heart through, a, through invisible holes in the septum. Vesalius looked really hard but could not find those holes and concluded they didn't exist. Along with these two errors, Vesalius discovered another 200 mistakes that Galen had made. Now you could argue that making those mistakes was not that important. It didn't help people get any healthier, but it was important because it started to destroy this old version of the truth which the church had been saying for hundreds of years, which was that Galen was perfect, so that if you questioned Galen, it meant you were questioning the church, which meant you were directly questioning God, which means that you would go to hell. Even more importantly, Vesalius did not say that you had to take his word for anything he discovered. He encouraged people to look for themselves. He said to people, you dissect dead bodies too, and find out if I'm wrong. And it was this spirit of exper experimentation and new discovery which leads to Vesalius' most important contribution. As you heard in the last video, throughout the medieval period, the Middle Ages, the church had been acting as a roadblock on progress. What that meant is it was very difficult for anybody to make new discoveries because the church said there was no point doing experimentation because everything that anyone needed to know could be found in either the Bible or Galen's books. By proving this wrong, Vesalius acted like a wrecking ball. Helped by printing, which spread his ideas around, he was able to destroy the power of the church over people's minds. And for that reason, progress can resume with others having new ideas, which would eventually lead to improvements to people's overall health care. To make sure that you understand everything that you need to know about Vesalius, you really need to be able to explain why he made his discoveries, the discoveries that he did make, but most importantly, why those discoveries were so important. If you can do all that, you've made a good start to understanding why Vesalius is so important to the history of medicine. Thanks very much for listening. More videos to follow.